Warning, the following file needs to be updated with latest test results in the following sections. Description. Proceed with caution. Item number, SCP-5355. Object class and clearance level. Safe, security level 2. Special containment procedures. SCP-5355 is to be contained in an anonymous items locker. Under no circumstances is SCP-5355 to be tested. Description. SCP-5355 refers to a toy ray gun made of plastic and an unknown metal alloy. The fantastic shrinkulator is currently written in large lock letters with flaking gold paint on its left side. SCP-5355's design is similar to the retrofuturistic style, specifically diesel punk or steampunk. A series of dials is on its right side. An unknown red liquid can be seen flowing through vials in the gun, appearing to serve a decorative purpose. The creator, charging functionality, and method of power storage of SCP-5355 are all currently unknown. SCP-5355 has no trigger and can be operated via cranking a small crank on the back of its barrel. After approximately 30 seconds of cranking, SCP-5355 will whirl and discharge a thin, bright green beam of concentrated photonic energy on its tip, while outputting a large amount of smoke. SCP-5355 will then cool down for one minute before another beam can be discharged. Depending on what setting its dials are placed at, it is theorized that this beam has a variety of effects. Shrink. The beam will decrease the dimensions of an object by an unknown constant. Enlarge. The beam will increase the dimensions of an object by an unknown constant. Return. The effects of previous firings of SCP-5355 will be reverted. Attached is the log of the single occasion of testing of SCP-5355. Addenda. Testing Log. Testing Personnel. Researcher Pastori Jr. Researcher Remington. Procedure. Fire on a series of objects set up in Site-28 firing range with each setting of SCP-5355 before reverting its effects with the return setting. Begin Log. Junior Researcher Remington returns from the firing range's target area. Researcher Pastore has SCP-5355 in hand and is currently scratching his beard. As Junior Researcher Remington enters, Researcher Pastore nods, speaking firmly. Are the objects ready? Remington nods quickly. Yep, all lined up over there for you. Pastore smiles. Thank you, Jeremy. All right. Which is first? Try the wet wipe. Biggest surface area to hit, I think. Good idea. Pastori turns the dial and begins cranking while aiming at a wet wipe hung on a clothesline on the opposite side of the firing range. Alright, set to shrink and firing. SCP-5355 fires. The wipe shrinks to approximately half its previous size. Huh, neat. <sighs> All things considered, there's a nice change of pace. Eh, don't let the chickens out of the coop preemptively, Remington. Fine. Next is enlarge. Yep. The story adjusted the tile to enlarge. Well, we wait now. Things gotta cool down. Remington and Pastori stand around, not talking. Pastori coughs. So, uh, how are the kids? I don't have kids, Jeremy. Sorry. <sighs> you know, how's your mom? Oh, she's fine. She recognized you last time you saw her? I mean, that stuff can be hard. Yeah, I can't guarantee she won't, though. It sucks, Charles. Haven't let me in cause of that nasty cold I had. But story not. SCP-5355 lets out a quiet ding. Remington sighs in relief 
and sneezes once. Right again. For story fires SCP-5355 to wipe notches to two times its original size, falling off of its clips. Then ten heads to place it back on its clips. Got it, got it. Thanks. Pistori sets the dial to return and cranks SCP-5355. Upon firing, it appears to have no effect. Huh? You sure it was all the way cooled down? I heard a ding and everything, Jeremy. I'm old, but not that old. Fear, try shrink. Sure. The dial is cracked, and SCP-5355 is fired. There is no effect. What the frick? My thought exactly. Let's try and enlarge. But Story cranks the dial and waits for the cooldown timer to finish. As Remington sits deep in thought, as soon as a ding is audible, for Story fires, Remington knocks the ray out of the Story's hand and pulls him towards the door. Wait! Two large creatures spontaneously appear near the wet wipe. One appears similar to a large tartograde, while the other is big erratic in appearance. Both begin to crawl toward Pastore and Remington, making deep and low moans. Shoot it! Shoot the damn things! I got it! I got it! Pastore fires SCP-5355 once more at the tragic entity. It has no effect. Both Pastore and Remington make it out safely, as the camera is whirled by a large meepy creature. As the creature comes into contact with the remains of the wet wipe, its cellular wall violently explodes, killing both of the other entities. End log.